And we're going to be joined on the phone right now by uh, someone who watched the explosion in, in real time, uh, as so many. You've probably been seeing a lot of videos and pictures on social media. Uh, for those who actually caught this in real time, we're going to be joined on the phone right now by, I believe, South Carolina resident Cameron Dew. Cameron, do you have us? Yeah, I do. Uh, okay, Cameron, walk us through what you saw. I'm going to put up a picture for our viewers uh, that you sent us. Uh, this is what you captured on your cell phone. Uh, give us a sense. Sure. So as soon as uh, the balloon kind of came into sight in the area, my wife and I uh, were just watching it and kind of stayed, stayed on it. Uh, it happened to pass directly over us. We're not too far from the Myrtle Beach International Airport. Um, it went directly over us. And uh, as soon as you could tell it was out over the ocean, um, actually, it, it, it seemed like as soon as it was over the ocean, they kind of um, went to it as far as taking it down. Uh, we heard a couple sonic booms um, and then watching the contrails of one of the aircraft, you could see uh, another contrail coming off of it, which was the missile. And then uh, not too much longer after it hit in the balloon, another boom. Oh, that's so interesting. So, okay, I think a lot of viewers, uh, from our perspective, even my perspective, we've just seen images. So you heard very loud sounds. Yeah, yeah, there was most definitely uh, one or, I want to say one or two booms uh, well before they came towards the balloon. So I believe the aircraft probably weren't flying supersonic and, and did so when they went to take it out. Uh, and then you can uh, most definitely hear the sound of the explosion after a little bit of a delay since it's, it's pretty high up there. So Cameron, um, give me a sense too, did you even know about all of this yesterday or were you kind of getting up to speed this morning? You looked up into the sky, you saw it, uh, and you um, kind of fixed your eyes on it. Yeah, so I, I heard it in, in the news uh, over Montana. I wasn't really tracking it. Uh, my wife uh, actually mentioned it this morning that you know, people were saying it might come over, you know, South Carolina, North Carolina. And I said, oh, okay, you know, not believing it. Um, and then actually seeing it in person, I was like, oh, well, there it is. So, uh, and you're, you're an actual South Carolina resident. You're not just visiting, you're not just traveling in the area, correct? No, no, I was born and raised here. Okay, so give us a sense, too, because you must be in contact, friends, family. Are they all uh, glued to the sky, or at least were they? Yeah, a lot of people, um, it, it seems, you know, not even just friends and uh, friends and family. Just you know, you could go outside and other people were were outside, you know, stopping and looking at it, seeing what's going on. Um, we've actually, I'm, I'm a pilot, so I kind of keep my eyes to the sky. And we've actually had military aircraft um, in our area since about 9 a.m. this morning, uh, taking off and working the pattern at uh, Myrtle Beach International. Oh wow! Uh, and thankfully, you weren't traveling, or your uh, plans would have been snarled at least uh, for well. Uh, in the morning and the afternoon, it looks like um, flights are back resuming at Myrtle Beach Airport. Uh, I, I wanted to ask as well, um, were you ever concerned or you were kind of just, I don't know, fascinated? What, give me an adjective to describe how you are feeling right now, because I think a lot of people are feeling a lot of different things. Yeah, I wasn't concerned with it. Um, I, I thought it was rather interesting to see uh, whether balloons are gigantic in size. So actually seeing one go over um it felt you know pretty close even though it was so high up um so for me personally it's more excitement it was just a, a cool thing to see and it was uh most definitely unexpected to watch it get shot down are you glad though we waited to shoot it down until it was over the water i think that was probably the smartest thing um you know it, who knows with the winds um you can't really predict too much you know According to what altitude you're at, the winds are going at different directions and different speeds, and uh, something falling from that height that big, you know, it, it's safer to shoot it down over water, I would think. Yeah, we're just uh, showing the viewers uh, your photo that you captured. You said it was loud. You were interested in this. Um, and it is you know, something, obviously, we don't see every day, uh, and so we'll have to wait to see if we can get a glimpse of some of the debris before it's retrieved, at least in the water. We've been speaking with experts. Uh, they don't believe it's going to kind of wash up shore. Maybe some debris will wash uh, up ashore on the beach, but that remains to be seen. Um, no doubt a lot of probably <laughs> media organizations have been reaching out to you, um, but you're probably going to tell your kids, grandkids about this story. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something to talk about. Yeah. Uh, final thoughts here, Cameron. Uh, what do you want to leave the viewer with? Uh, we appreciate uh, this photo, though, um, but what an interesting Saturday morning. Yeah, it was uh, not, not ex exactly how I was expecting today to go. 
Um, like I said, it was pretty exciting to see. Um, it was cool to see the aircraft circling it all morning and, and uh, kind of following as it went and uh, seeing all the military aircraft taking off from the airport as well. All right, uh, Cameron Dew there in South Carolina over the phone with us here on Live Now from Fox. We appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us and have a good rest of your weekend. Sure, you too. Bye.